Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we've uh, pretty much seen Twitch itself go and implode as of today. And now, in case you guys are kind of curious on why I'm even talking about this or discussing this or everything else in between, number one, as you guys probably know, because I mentioned a lot on my channel and I've also streamed on YouTube, especially streamed a lot on Twitch, I have been technically a full-time Twitch streamer for a very long time. I was one of the very first 100 partners on the entire platform. I have been on Twitch for many, many years, and I love doing it, so I always mention my YouTube videos and always like shamelessly go and link myself down. Down below. But one of the bigger issues right now is that Twitch has completely lost the mark. Twitch as a platform has been imploding. Everyone on the entire planet is unhappy, myself included. And right now the entire internet's been on an absolute just S storm because things have been so, so bad as of today. So we're going to talk about this, talk about the drama, talk about everything in between, and as well talk about the really stupid decisions and hypocrisies and all these really big content creators such as Mr. Beast, Ninja, and like even like Critical and everyone else in between have kind of been calling out folks too as well when it comes to this and well it's just not pretty so if you guys want to make sure you guys go subscribe if you guys would like to love to have you guys here or even just go and throw me the like the pity follow up on twitch mainly because everything's just been going absolutely horrible and if you guys ever want me to do more youtube streams or even go on places such as like kick etc let me know in the comment section down below so pretty much as of today there is a pretty big 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 news bomb that dropped as of today where twitch is actually now trying to go get rid of sponsored streams you heard me correctly. Now, this may not be too much of a big effector for maybe you guys who watch a lot of content, whether it's like YouTube or streams or whatever. If anything, it's probably even bad because some folks don't want to see the, hey, sponsored by Audible or Rift or Raid Shadow Legends or whatever it might go and be. Now, for me as a content creator, typically that does help out a lot where I have mostly made a lot more money from sponsorships or brand deals. And that's why for on my YouTube channel specifically, I gave out like 10 PlayStation 5s and a lot of other various giveaways, which was basically paid for by sponsored brand deals. Because I always feel like if you guys had to sit through me kind of chilling and talk about random stuff, then well, you guys should at least get something out of the deal. That's always kind of like my trade-off. I always want to make sure my audience and people you guys watch these videos understand that. Same thing with Twitch too as well. But one big thing to note is they're trying their best now to get rid of actual sponsored content on the platform itself. So basically, let's say you're doing a brand thing for like a G Fuel or like a, I don't know, HelloFresh. And well, they just want, basically do not want it to be on the screen. They want to make it as small as possible. They don't want people going and pushing it and changing it and everything in between. Now, as well, we've seen them kind of put up different highlights show up different types of examples, and well, in a general sense, this is not the world's biggest deal. Now, uh, mainly I'm going to say this and why it's a big deal is because Twitch has completely, these past few years especially, lost the mark. There's been really big hypocrisy when it comes to them as a platform, and creators are tired myself included. Mainly because for them, they're trying to go shove a lot more ads down people's throats. Typically for YouTube, I don't mind having ads because you're not really losing out on content. If you have to go see a random ad on a video, guess what? As soon as you can press the skip button or sometimes it doesn't even show up and then you don't necessarily miss out on a video. But when it comes to things like Twitch or live streams, guess what? If someone's saying something funny, a really cool epic game moment's happening, big cutscene you don't want to miss, or anything else in between, or maybe even type a comment and you want to have the streamer respond to you, and guess what? There's a random ad playing. It ruins the actual experience. Now, Twitch has been trying their best to go and insert and self-insert things like Amazon deals, where it's like, hey, go buy some Coca-Cola with this Amazon link, or buy this keyboard, or buy whatever this might be. Or as well, they've also been trying to go push things such as like their bounty board system, which is basically interlocked uh, Twitch ads, where Twitch is taking the cut. Now, creators are getting very upset about this because, number one, if I want to do a sponsored brand deal, I could be like, hey, go give me like $500 for me to do a post or a tweet and all this stuff all combined. While Twitch themselves, because I've had a chance to deal with this, is like, hey, we'll give you a 50 bucks and now you guys maybe think oh that's still pretty good i'd still take it like think about this if you go to your job normally and they're like hey we'll give you 100 bucks an hour because you're let's say you're a lawyer and then you have some other person be like nope we're gonna pay you five dollars an hour it's under the same amount of work probably maybe a little bit more hardcore actually uh figure it out and they're gonna take away that 100 an hour option for you now it depends on a lot of the prices those are kind of just random numbers but a lot of folks and especially like a lot of big streamers are very upset this is kind of basically like youtube doing a similar thing where they're basically excluding what type of content you go and showcase and how you present yourself and anyone who's kind of like more of like a 
self-employed type person, a very independent person, you guys can maybe just understand the struggles and the issues. But once again, money's not the biggest deal. Like, I'm a content creator, yes, and money does matter, so I always appreciate you guys watching my YouTube or swinging by my Twitch and saying hi, or even like you're using your Amazon Prime subs or whatever. That's awesome. But one of the bigger things is that Twitch keeps on overstepping, because as of right now, they even have a brand new thing where they quite literally are charging creators to go and get out of their contract. So money obviously is a big deal for folks, but stuff like this on the opposite of Twitch trying to go and soak money is even worse. This is like downright disgraceful. Uh, Twitch are so desperate for money that they're taking it from people that are like affiliates. So it's basically someone who wanted to try out streaming and they got like 50 followers, which is not that hard to go and do in terms of the grand scheme of things, uh, especially if you like streaming. And they will basically go and charge you $25. They say they call it a maintenance fee, saying the maintenance fee will be the lesser of the accrued program fees on your Twitch channel or $25. So basically, let's say you have $17, they just go and wipe you, or you have more than 25 bucks before you get paid, they're going to take it out of your account. So not only are they trying to go and stop sponsors for their own corporate greed, trying to go and plague Twitch itself with ads all over the place, basically making it really unwatchable. It's one of the biggest critiques I've had people from YouTube that go to my Twitch channel where it's like, hey, there's ads all the time that is not really on my doing at all. It's just automated through Twitch, which stinks because sometimes you just want to go browse around a stream and see if you can like, like it or vibe it or anything else in between. No, apparently everything's all just broken as is. So Twitch wants to now go and charge folks. Now, we've also seen some either more big controversy when it comes to kick. Kick's also a new rival streaming platform where they even went on public saying, hey, we want to go and literally pay people $25 to go and move over. And this is, like once again, coming off from a lot of really bad instances. Twitch just did a bunch of layoffs. They had a brand new CEO basically saying we want to do good by the creators, and then a few weeks later they have this. Really big organizations such as some of the biggest streamers like OTK are basically saying, hey... Well, guess what? You are screwing us over. Big esports competitions and teams, such as like even like maybe even LCS, will have issues because they can't promote things like Coca-Cola just randomly on their streams or Corsair or whatever brand you want to push, Best Buy, etc., because they have these weird limitations on what Twitch is allowing on your streams and platforms. Partnered streamers are upset because a lot of people make more money off of sponsors than people that sub or do ads, etc., in most typical senses. And as well, even some of the biggest content creators. Good examples, critical saying the response to this big thing. It's actually impressive how Twitch manages to make the most dog mm, changes imaginable. With Fall even later on stating, don't know what confusion you're referring to, because basically Twitch tried to go backstep this after so much flack and all this. There's literally pictures in the announcement that I showed you guys over here. You were pretty specific. Just admit you're completely lost as a platform. This is backpedaling to try and salvage a catastrophic, out of touch, geatric policy decision. So some of the bigger content creators are throwing this out here too. Ninja even drops the Twitch continuing to move forward further and further away from who they used to be. Now, Ninja's even a more intriguing case because he's actually been streaming on Twitch without a sub button for a very long time and also been simul streaming on YouTube and TikTok as well. So he's not even partnered right now on Twitch, which is crazy. He's like literally still the number one most followed person on the platform at like 17 million followers. He's not even really making money on Twitch, which also once again shows on how po like powerful sponsorships are. And once again, why he's probably even more upset because if he's most of his money he makes is off of sponsorships and he gave up his whole Twitch contract, at this point he may just want to say like, whatever, I'm going to go to Kick or Rumble which has actually been moving up quite a bit when it comes to, well, everything. It's been very, very big. Even Mr. Beast himself, one of the biggest content creators out here, saying that he literally went and followed Kick. Stating, I might just go do a stream for fun just to go and protest Twitch. Even Mr. Beast, the, like the nice philanthropist himself, is like, bro, I think these Twitch ideas are stupid. Even tweets out saying, hey, how about Twitch instead of handicapping what creators make, so taking them away from money, whether it's from ads, whether it's from bounties, whether it's from all these random integrations when it comes to these brand new sponsorship deals, how about you just go and help people? And that's what they want to go and even say too as well. And even had him responding saying, Twitch works really hard to make the worst decisions possible. At least they're consistently bad. And like this already has 8 million impressions. The actual initial tweet itself over here is at 28 million views as of right now above my head. And it just goes to show how out of touch Twitch is. I have been a Twitch streamer for like over 10 years. I've had people who've been subscribed, like paying subscribers to my channel for over 100 consecutive months. And that's why I was link my Twitch and mention, go follow my Twitch if you want to. But right now it seems like the passion from the actual community and like the people who run it are completely lopsided. But as well, it kind of makes someone like me want to go and do more things like streaming on YouTube. I have a really cool YouTube audience, you guys who watch these videos. 
videos. I want to meet you guys. I've done a few streams on YouTube. I would love to do more. I go with things on platforms like Kick or all these other various places because it feels like it's more at home. And I feel like I have less of these big corporate people breathing down my neck trying to make as much money as they possibly can. So it's crazy. A lot of folks are not happy. A lot of folks are upset, uh, myself included. This gets me heated because I've used to love Twitch and I helped build up Twitch. I was Like I said, I was one of the very first 100 people contracted with Twitch back in the day. And now, now what? Now it's just a shell of what it might possibly be. And it's just very, very sad and just horrible at the end of the day. So it's been a rough one. It's been a rough one. You guys can probably go and tell. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch, feel free to. If you guys want to follow on Twitter as well, or just subscribe here so you guys know all the other random content, feel free to as well. But overall, I'm just kind of sickened. Would love to hear your thoughts and comments on all this down below.